Good morning, beautiful. I mean, I shouldn't say good morning. Salutations, because I'm not certain what time of day you'll watch the video. But this is our um, next set of our uh, next poem. Um, we've been reading. You remember we did Seth Silverstein, and now we have been working through this collection of poetry um, called uh, Re We Rise, We Resist, We Raise Our Voices. And it's from a diverse group of, of writers, all sharing poems about speaking up, using your words to um, stand up for others and stand up for yourself. Um, it's edited by Wade Hudson and Cheryl Willis Hudson. And the foreword is by Ashley Bryan. The foreword is something that's written at the beginning of the book to kind of talk about, almost like give the occasion to say why it's important. Um, and we haven't yet read it. I should I should have actually read it first. I started at the back because um, the poet that I that um, I knew was in the back, so I went. I started it with that. But it's dedicated to those who advocate for for and pursue a just society and basic human rights for all people. All right. So that's the, that's the continued theme, that everybody's human. So even when we talked about the civil rights movement, we were looking at specifically liberating black people. Um, during that time, Martin Luther King initially started out to fight for equal treatment for blacks. Remember, we talked about separate not being equal. That was really important. And so that's racism. That's the same thing that Zendaya was speaking about. But now we know that there are people of all different races, all different orientations, all different ideas, all that kind of stuff. And so each person has the right to be treated as a human because what? We have the right to do we have the right to liberty and the right to um, the right to be able to pursue our to be self determined. All right? So that all men are created equal under God. All people. So we say men and that's kind of gender biased, but it's men and women. Um, so now Okay, let's look at this. All right, so this is a beautiful illustration. Um, some of the things that I like about it, um, I love the I love the the detail, the intricate detailing on the bird. Um, I love the warm colors. I particularly like, um, yeah, especially that orange. It looks really pretty. I really actually, it's a very warm picture. So that's the illustration, and the illustration is by Laura Freeman. I bet if you try it really hard and you pause this video, I bet you can draw that. Okay? So if you like, as an extra assignment, you can draw the, draw the bird or see, draw your own rendition of that illustration. Okay? So that's the full illustration. Okay? So let's see. You too can fly by Zeta Elliott. Do not forget to marvel at the wonders of the world. When sinister shadows gather and fear clutches your tender heart, remember the fiercest dragons emerge from the darkest depths and a single star sparkling in the sable sky may guide you to your destiny. When others attempt to school you in ways of cruelty, learn lessons from Aesop's clever crow. Open your third eye to see past the ruins and envision a better world. When the struggle to survive leaves you breathless, Know that we have outpaced hounds and tunneled through mountains of despair to emerge unbowed and free. The whip could not break us. The noose could not choke our joy. When our ancestors had no cheek left to turn, they walked into the sea or stepped into the sky. Remember, you too can fly. This is actually a really amazing piece because there's this... You remember when we read about Burr Rabbit and the people can fly? Um, do you remember, uh, uh, um, it's actually, I saw Virginia Hamilton, it's over, um, and we read about, uh, which, what was the other one we read about? The Lion, um, in Virginia Hamilton's book, The People Can Fly. So it's about using your imagination, using spiritual ascension or spiritual uplift or spiritual growth to do what is called vibrate higher. You remember how sometimes when we talked about when we make bad choices or we make a decision that we're not particularly proud of and we want to change it? Well, that's called vibrating higher because you don't have to set, stay in the same pattern, making the same mistake and doing the same thing. You can make 
you can choose to make a different choice. And so that's what one of these things about when people mistreat you or you feel mistreated or you feel like you're not heard. Even sometimes, you know, when you're like, well, mommy, I didn't get a chance and I didn't like when you said this to me or I didn't like when you did that. So you too can fly. You can rise above. You can challenge me to say, hey, mommy, I don't think that that's fair. You don't have to be disrespectful. Like we've discussed, you don't have to be disrespectful, but you can always say, hey, hold on, mommy. You know, I, I you know, can we, t- excuse me for a second, mommy, can we talk about it? Now, it's not always effective for us to talk right in that moment. Sometimes we have to kind of calm down and then we come back and talk about it at a later time. But the important thing is you have the ability to use your words to effectively represent your sentiments and how you feel because you're able to do it. So when we say, Do not forget to marvel at the wonders of the world. When sinister shadows gather and fear clutches your tender heart, remember the fiercest dragons emerge from the darkest depths and the single star sparkling in the sable sky may guide you to your destiny. When others attempt to school you in ways of cruelty, learn lessons from Aesop's clever crow. Open your third eye to see past the ruins and envision a better world. When the struggle to survive leaves you breathless, know that we have outpaced hounds and tunneled through mountains of despair to emerge unbowed and free. The whip could not break us, the noose could not choke our joy. When our ancestors had no cheek left to turn, they walked into the sea or stepped into the sky. Remember, you too can fly. So walking into the sea, there's a Beyonce video and we've talked about it. We talked about, actually we didn't talk about the Beyonce video, but There were a group of slaves who said, you know what? We don't want to be hurt. We don't want to be beaten. We were brought here from our homeland against our will. And we'd rather die than to live live a life of, of subjugation. And I know that's a big word. That's actually to be live a life where they're treated less than who they are because we were kings and queens long before we were slaves. And so the idea is you can ascend and vibrating higher and taking steps to do better, to work harder, to be better is where it all begins. And so you too can fly. Remember we were reading and we were talking about when we're faced with difficult problems or when we're faced with challenges, figuring out the most effective way to manage it without losing our head, without losing our sense of who we are, and certainly without displeasing God. So that's what the poem was about. And I wish that we can have a discussion so you can kind of tell me some of the things because I know you have your own ideas, which you do. So just like the star guided the wise men to to um, to the manger where Jesus was, to the stable where he was, There are stars that guide you. The North Star guided Harriet Tubman to freedom. So that's the idea. So it's a lot of references there. And so when it talks about the hounds, um, outpaced hounds, because when slaves try to escape, they would send dogs after them. Okay. And it could be quite brutal. And so there are people who've escaped that and escaped far worse. So when you feel discouraged about a math assignment or you feel discouraged about reading or you feel discouraged about something that I've done or something that your dad has done or something that a friend may have done, you have to believe that others have faced and gone and overcome worse. And because they have, if God did it for them, God would do it for you. Okay, so let's do our prayers. Okay. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord, my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord, my soul to take. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So, I know that you're beautiful. I know that you're amazing. I know that you had a powerful day. Even if there was some disempowering or discouraging moments, I know that you're emboldened by faith because I know that you believe in God. No matter how small, no matter how big, the problem is you can give it all to God and you can believe that God is going to solve it for you. I love you very much, my dear. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I can't wait to speak to you and see you soon. Have a good evening, okay? Be at peace. I love you.